everyone likes movies and uh, why not because uh, movies offer you lot more information lot more detailing lot more drama lot more stories lot more gossips and all these things are together put you entertainment with knowledge so coming to the specific definition of uh, the movie data set we have the multiple movies then we have the sort of summary we have the kind of characters and the shades kind of discussion etc multiple things are present over there movie is a full fledged multimedia tool or the kind of thing which is gonna enhance your knowledge in different ways now in today's video we are going to specifically focus on to a specific data set movie lens which is gonna consider multiple different aspects of movies so let's start hey there my name is rohit kumar and today we are going to focus on to movie lens data set which was released in 1998 describing the people's expressed preference for movies so here we are going to discuss that uh, the kind of preferences uh, have taken the form of the tuples and uh, each result of a person expressing a kind of preference from 0 to 5 star rating for a particular kind of movie and uh, the point is that uh, these sort of preferences were entered by the way of movie lens website um which is a kind of recommender system so if you are supposed to give a kind of rating then obviously you are supposed to have the personalized movie recommendations so uh, this is not a new thing means uh, almost everyone knows about it that uh, whenever you do something online then the sort of ml algorithms or the dll algorithms are in, running behind they automatically generate the kind of recommendations or suggestions uh, for you so that's why suppose you have logged on to a personal particular uh, social media platform then if you jump on to another platform you see the similar sorts of ad or the ads based on the searches that you have done in the last couple of hours so these are the sort of uh, kind of coherent system uh, characteristics that whatever you are doing is getting reflected in a different environment so uh, going on to the technicalities of this particular data set so let's uh, directly jump on to the kind of data set that we are focusing here so you can see that uh, this movie lens this is the home page and here the group lens research uh, is the kind of uh, uh, main group which is working behind the picture and uh, it has collected and made available the rating data set from the movie lens website so the base or the kind of main source of all information is movie lens.org which is here you can see it if you are interested then the data sets were collected over the various periods of time depending on the size of the set so same thing again if you are interested you can go and make your own data set if you are not then obviously you can just make the use of ready ready made data set which is available over here so here coming on to the kind of uh, recommendations so they have recommended something for new research so movie lens 25m data set where they have the 25m ratings and uh, the stable benchmark data set the kind of 25 million ratings and 1 million tag applications applied to the 62000 movies by more than 150000 users so you can just imagine the size of the data set it's quite quite large data sets and generating such large data set by your own is gonna take uh, almost months uh, if not years okay so if you are not using some automated means uh, not automation then obviously you are gonna take months and months then uh, the kind of uh, tag genome data which is uh, used with 15 million relevance scores uh, across the more than 1000 tags is gonna also get covered over here you have the readme text here then you have the this zip file which is gonna size 250 mb so just you have a cross check of checksum and download it so that the proper file is downloaded that's get confirmed the perma link is also given over here then you have the movie lens tag genome data set 2021 then here they have the 10.5 m computer tag movie tag relevance score from a pool of more than 1000 tags applied to more than 9000 movies then uh, uh, this particular one was released in december 2021 that's why it is named as data set 2021 then uh, you have the kind of uh, recommendation for education and development so you have the movie lens latest data sets where uh, these uh, data sets are supposed to change over the period of time and are not appropriate for reporting research results still they keep downloading the uh, kind of stable links uh, from the automated downloads and uh, the kind of uh, different classification they have given over here for the small set they have more than 1000 uh, ratings and the more than 305000 3500 tags applications applied to 9000 movies by 600 users and uh, for full they have 27 million ratings and uh, more than 1 million tag applications applied to 58000 movies by more than 250000 users 
so these are the sort of things which are given over here and uh, i hope uh, you must be uh, focusing and noticing the size of the numbers so that's quite important don't just get to that uh, that's a quite easy task no it's not then you have the synthetic data sets where the movie lens uh, one b synthetic data set it's uh, uh, again a kind of super set of 1 billion you are reaching here so movie lens uh, one b synthetic data set which is expanded from the 20 million real world ratings from ml 20m and distributed in the support of ml perf then uh, you have uh, the kind of reading then the downloading links uh, and obviously here the size is much more and uh, then coming down you have the older data sets and movie lens 100k data set the size is less over here so 100k movie ratings are given over here. stable benchmark data sets is covered over here then the 100000 ratings from the thousand users so on 700 1700 movies Again, the download link, the index of the zipped files and the readme files are going over here. So all the sort of different information with respect to 1M data set, 10M data set, then uh, the 20M data set, which we also covered with respect to, to 1B data set over above. Then uh, the movie lens tech genome data set 2014. These are some of the related other data sets. So you can see just that how many different data sets or the kind of subsets that they have covered over here which are uh, given with respect to the kind of ratings or the movie ratings related things. So if you are interested and you are a kind of movie buff, then it's good for you because it's not about research. While doing the kind of relevant research, you will find a lot more relevant and the useful and the kind of interesting information. So always do research in your uh, field of interest because if you don't get bored, you can make a good research. So that's why, because the research needs a time. So that's why I'm saying that if you are a kind of a movie expert or you a kind of movie enthusiast, then just to go and choose a problem which is going to suit your needs. So it will uh, work in dual manner. It will enhance your knowledge. It will entertain you as well as it will do work and the kind of research work for you. So that's all for this particular video. Now coming on to the specific detailing uh, yeah, with respect to the movie lens. So here you have the link for movie lens, then wiki lens. Then cross book crossings, the kind of gesture, each movie, Hackrat 2021 and the other related personality to 2018, they have given the kind of related links over here. So I'm not going to uh, delve into the kind of details. I'm just going to tell you that there are a number of benchmarks which people are using with respect to these data sets, including the kind of uh, click-through rate prediction. What is the click-through rate uh, with respect to uh, the kind of movies, then the recommendation system, the movie recommendations and the explanation system and uh, the kind of uh, the knowledge graph completion and the sort of other things. Coming on to the specific data sets, a number of data sets are available. As I told you, almost uh, eight to 10 data sets we covered over here only. So the movie lens 1M, movie lens uh, 100K, 10M, 20M, 25M, 1M. Then uh, the movie lens latest uh, sort of uh, one uh, data set also got released. And uh, the rele relevant models have also been discussed over the period of time with respect to respective data sets uh, variations. So we have the GHRS, we have the PIGET, we have the WASP, we have the BPR, we have KNI, then final MLP, the KTF, and uh, the kind of uh, rate CSE. These are some of the related models. So if you are interested, you can just go and uh, search uh, the kind of details on the academic web portals with respect to the number of uh, related papers which have used in this particular data set. So there are hundreds of papers which are available. I'm going to cite uh, one or two. So I'm going to take a paper which is uh, covered in 2021. Uh, the title is Enforcing and Discovering Structure in Machine Learning. Additionally, there is another work, which is another 2021 work, IALS++, where the speeding up matrix factorization with the kind of subspace optimization is covered over there. So these are some of the related works. The res kind of uh, respective GitHub implementation is also get covered. So if you are interested, you can just uh, jump onto and see the kind of detailed uh, explanation about uh, these sort of related things. Coming on to the specific tasks, so you can do the multiple things as I told you, you can have the uh, kind of link prediction, the kind of linking, the recommendation system, knowledge graph rate completion sector, we have already uh, discussed with these things. Okay, so these are the some of the things. Additionally, as uh, always, uh, our data set is related to some of the similar data sets. So if you are not interested in this or you are not getting a kind of feel uh, for this particular data set, so you can explore the MSSD uh, or the Netflix price also. So these are some of the related sets which are gonna uh, cover or these data sets are gonna kind of substitute to movie lens. So that's all from my side. Hope you must have liked the video. If you didn't like, please document below and criticize. We'll definitely try to incorporate those suggestions in future videos.
Thanks for watching. Have a